Wow, what a finish, man. Grant Mullins, how are you, man? Good. The game came down to the last play. There was a dispute even with timeouts, but you talk about what happened and what coach drew up on that last play. Well, after they uh, threw out of bounds on that last play and we got it at half, uh, coach drew up a play where uh, it was a tight box and Brian goes through and I come around the top for a shot. And I came around and pump faked and saw two guys jump, so I just went into the guy who jumped, tried to, tried to get it in miss, so I had three shots. All right, so now at the end, now what are you thinking? You're down one. Uh, you got to make two, at least one free throw. Yeah. Did you know right there you were going to make that? Or make no, I, I didn't know. I, ha I had confidence, though. I was nervous, but luckily the first two went in, so. That was it. Now talk about the game, you guys, going into it against a, a pretty good uh, grassroots squad. What was your game plan going in? Our game plan going in was to stop them from uh, transition. So we, we had to get good shots, So because our bad shots turned into good shots for them. We also had to lock down uh, number 11, so we, we face guarded, handled him pretty good, Kyle guarded Nick, him. Nick, Nick so yeah, And uh, defensive rebounding at half, we, we came in and really focused on defensive rebounding. What an exciting game for you. You did well out there. I, I saw you guys taking it to them. Uh, how hard was it to you know run your offense and run what you guys wanted to do in that game? Uh, it wasn't that hard. Near the end, it was tough, but uh, they came at us with like a half court zone, so it was it was kind of different breaking that. But uh, we broke it pretty good and, and got some easy layups. Now you guys are in the final to go up against the Ace. Uh, what do you have to do for that? Against the Ace, uh, we played them earlier in the year. We have to uh, really get on transition, stop a few of their good shooters, and rebound. I think we're a bit bigger than them, so we got pounded inside. All right, now for you, you're a senior. Uh, you're finished. What are your prospects going forward uh, in your post high school career? Well, I have uh, a lot of schools in Canada, a few in the States, a few D1 schools. I think I'm going to return for grade 13. I'm in grade 12 right now. So I'm going to return, play on this team again, play grassroots in the summer, and then go from there. Excellent. Now, your ball handling is superior. Um, anything that you want to work on to improve your game? Well, I want to work on pull ups, making it quicker. Yeah, it seems like, uh, you know, in the high school game right now, you see a lot of guys who can go to the basket and a lot of guys who can shoot threes. Yeah. But it seems like the mid-range game is a lost start. Is that something you're looking to improve on? Yeah, I want to work on my mid-range game for sure. And just getting bigger and stronger to play at the next level, that's another big thing. Well, I have a lot of coaches I've talked to just said you need to get bigger. Yeah, well, you got the, the talent right there. Now you need to put on some size, a little bit of bulk. Uh, but I see good things uh, going forward for you, man. Grant Mullins, thanks a lot. Fantastic game. Uh, good luck in the finals uh, of the MPSAA. All right, thanks a lot. Drew Banks, CrownMagOnline.com.